If Socrates remains for us, 2,400 years after his death, an enigma, it's largely because of the eloquent artistry of the Platonic dialogues. Plato presents us with a Socrates deeply engaged with each individual he encounters. And yet he also has Socrates call this practice of philosophy a kind of politics. This is strange because we usually associate politics with the institutions of government and not with our personal conversations with one another. Hello, my name is Chris Long, and I'm the author of an enhanced digital book published by Cambridge University Press entitled Socratic and Platonic Political Philosophy, Practicing a Politics of Reading. The book grew out of a confrontation with this question. Precisely what sort of politics is it that Socrates claims to practice? In the Gorgias, Socrates says that he is the only one of those living in Athens to try his hand at the true art of politics. And yet, in the Apology, where he defends himself against charges of impiety and corrupting the youth, Plato has him say that if he had practiced politics, he would have died long ago. Through a reading of the Protagoras, Gorgias, and Phaedo, the first part of the book traces the practice of Socratic politics which turns out to be the attempt to use spoken words to turn the individuals Socrates encounters toward questions of justice, beauty, and the good as ideals that should animate their lives. What we learn in reading these dialogues, however, is that Plato, in writing dialogues, is engaged in an analogous political project. Platonic politics is the attempt to use written words to encourage each of us to integrate those very same ideals into our relationships with one another. Through readings of the Apology and the Phaedrus, the second half of the book attempts to trace the political practices of Platonic writing. The most innovative aspect of the book, however, is the way it's being published. The book is a performative publication. It attempts to perform the argument it makes in the way it is published. By creating a digital environment in which readers are invited to post comments and engage with one another publicly, the enhanced digital book is designed to create a community of readers interested in Socrates, Plato, and the politics of reading. Its ultimate success will depend upon your willingness to engage the text and one another in this public forum. I invite you to participate and look forward to the unfolding online dialogue.